Back now to one of our top stories today. Police evicting Occupy Nova Scotia protesters from Victoria Park in Halifax yesterday, arresting 14 people. Today, protesters with the movement are planning to march from the park to City Hall. Tim Bousquet is the news editor for the Coast newspaper. He's been following the story closely and joins us now from Halifax. So, Tim, beyond this march and protest, uh, what are the next steps? What's the plan for the protesters? Well, I, I guess that remains to be seen. They're, they're meeting constantly, talking about what their future actions might be. What, what seem to be uh, the options? I mean, is there some resolve to camp out either at the square across from City Hall or go back to Victoria Park? Yeah, I think there's a good chance they might end up back at City Hall, um, despite what Peter Kelly just told your uh, viewers. Mm -hmm. uh, the City Park, the, the Grand Parade is not a City Park, and the camping ordinance doesn't apply to that, so they have every right to go back there should they wish. I got, I got to say, Nancy, that was that was sort of the uh, the cowardice behind this move on the city's part. Uh, they they told the protesters, um, "We don't want you here for Remembrance Day." The protesters showed great restraint, compromise, met with the veterans, came to the solution of of disappearing from Grand Parade for a few days, right. going to a city park, and only then in did they technically violate the city bylaw? Uh, you know, this writ comes down in the, in the worst day of the year, uh, weather-wise. There's pouring right. torrential rainfall, uh, and they have to move their stuff in two hours. Um, you know, it's it, it's it was on the city's part. This was cowardly and shameful. So, having said that, uh, any idea how many people plan to turn out for today's march, and how many people actually? are not packing up their tents and going home, but still want their presence known in Halifax. Well, this isn't going away. I, I, I can't say what's going to happen. There's, there's a couple hundred people at Grand Parade right now protesting. That seems to be getting larger as, mm. the, day, as the day goes by. So um, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, a lot of their tents have already been confiscated by the police, so whether they're able to regroup that or not, I, I don't know. Uh, that remains to be seen. What is your gauge of the public reaction to the protesters? I mean, they've been around, they've been visible for quite some time now. I know a couple of weeks ago, Mayor Kelly said that he didn't, wasn't hearing a lot of complaints. What have you been hearing? Yeah, I, I think that... Uh, initially, there was um, uh, great disinterest, to be to be honest, mm -hmm. about the uh, Occupy. But then, as the Remembrance Day issue came up, and I don't know if you know what happened there, but they were uh, camped out around the Cenotaph, and, and people ex expressed concern that it would take away from the Remembrance Day ceremonies. Um, when the group, the Occupy group, uh, agreed to move. They won great public goodwill for that. Mm -hmm. They were praised across the spectrum for that. Um, so then to be kind of cheated out of uh, any sense of compromise back from the city, um, people, the public is overwhelmingly outraged. Yep, very interesting. Well, we'll watch today's protest and beyond. Tim, good to talk to you. Thanks for being with it's us. Good to talk to you.